Hello and welcome back to a new off the track CAD tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing the CAD modeling process by covering the next step, which is fillets. Me personally, I love filleting everything. I'm not a big fan of sharp corners on a car because I believe that they create counter rotating vortices, which then disrupts boundary layer and disrupts the boundary layer and thus creates kind of multiple aerodynamic hazards. Um, so I try to add fillets everywhere, once again, without uh, intersecting with their regulations such as the wheel visibility this can be quite close for the rear pod attachments uh but by doing the by using the press and pull function it's quite easy to um avoid this situation uh, once again by having the regulations being set as glass you're able to easily kind of work around the car with the regulations and uh, that way it makes it a lot easier uh, this could also be used in your 3d modeling page as well because it kind of helps iterations so because it is fillets and it's relatively simple, I'm now just going to do a time lapse of this entire process. You should be able to work out what's going on, but uh, there's no reason to have like 10, 20 minutes of just fillets everywhere. <laughs> And this is a good time to mention that you should save your work. A great example is me not saving my work right now and uh, losing the past five minutes of work, which isn't much, but it could have been really bad. I was incredibly lucky to not have lost the past half hour worth of work. But in, in this scenario, please do save every 10 or so minutes. It, it'll save you so much more time in the long run, please. Now, here's a tip. Instead of just shutting down Autodesk, open a new tab and uh, keep the old tab running. Now, if it's too hard on your computer, yeah, maybe it's a good idea to just quit the application. But if you've got a relatively beefy computer, it's quite good to open up a new Autodesk Fusion 360 and just kind of check up and see how it goes. Um, in this occasion, I actually had to open three Autodesk Fusion accounts, um, not accounts, but Fusion tabs. And you can see that on the first one, it's still white screened because I haven't closed the app. But on the second tab, it's still loading. And then on the third tab, it's finished loading. It's really weird the way it works. Every now, every now and again, just open a new tab and see what's happening with the Fusion. And sometimes it sorts itself out. So anyway, now we can just continue with the filleting process of uh, filleting every single edge on the car. Unless you don't want to fillet every single edge on the car, but I will. When you do hollow out uh, pods, make sure to do fill it on the inside of them as well, as um, once again, the CNC router won't be able to cut perfect 90 degree corners. And if your CAD file does have 90 degree corners and your actual physical car model has fillets, which it must have because the CNC router can't cut exactly 90 degrees, you could then, sp you could then say that the car is an accurate to your CAD file, which is not good in terms of engineering, and uh, you could get hit for uh, quality assurance, and uh, there might even be a regulation on that. Don't take my word for that, but there might possibly be a regulation for that. Once you have finished filleting the main body, just turn on the visibility for the uh, virtual cargo, because sometimes after filleting, the virtual cargo can actually come out, and because of this, uh, it would deem it to be legal. So just make sure you're able to then iterate those fillets to ensure that the virtual cargo stays inside the car.
So now that you've finished filleting the body, you can actually now mirror the body over. And uh, this is this is kind of when things start to get really cool because the car is no longer just half of it and you can see the entire thing together. And uh, you can just kind of take a moment, admire your work. It's uh, pretty cool to see what you've made. And uh, as a little well done, you can then kind of just add in the uh, helmet as well. You can use the joint tool to ensure that uh, the halo joins very nicely to the halo. Uh, this way, if you move the halo, the helmet will move, will move. That's only if you move a component, though. If you move a separate body, uh, the body will move and not the component. But if you join the components, if you move one component, the uh, other component will move as well. So that's a cool little tip. Now we're still not fully finished with the filleting process. We've just got to add one more fillet and that's uh, kind of around the CO2 gas canister and where it joins to the body. Now the connection with the halo will kind of create some weird issues, but uh, in this scenario, we can just leave it. But once again, once you send it off for CNC routing, do make sure to add a fillet there. But uh, in this scenario, I just, I just didn't fill it the corner there. Perfect. And now that is this section of the tutorial completed. Next up, you have the modeling of the rear wing. And considering you're this far through the tutorial, I'm guessing I will see you very soon. <laughs>